Joined now by the guy who had the AEC electrifying play today, Zach Pangala. Zach, uh, 91-89, your three wins it. Uh, break down the final play and the buzzer beating three. Uh, you know, after uh, he dunked the ball with 3.4 seconds left, I was just trying to, you know, get the ball as quick as I could and try to get up the floor as fast as I could and just try to get a shot off, you know. I dribbled up as fast as I could and, you know, just kind of sent one up. <laughs> sent it up, sent it in off the window. Yeah. Uh, 22 point comeback have you ever been involved in a game like this through your playing days high school I'll even let you include your baseball and football playing uh years. I think there was a time AAU my eighth grade year we were playing in a state tournament and it was kind of exactly like this we started off real bad we were down I think 20 and I had a game winning shot in the corner three so that's the only time I can think of what was the message from Chuck Benson what was the message from Charles Clark down the stretch as you guys inch closer and closer well, Coach, you know, at halftime, he was telling us the biggest thing we had to do in the second half was just take care of the ball and just guard most most of the time. And I th we did a lot better in the second half. I mean, we only had eight turnovers compared to our – I don't even know how many we had in the first half. But Fifteen. In Fifteen in the first half. But uh, And with Charles, I mean, he was just playing outstanding in the second half. I mean, he was full throttle the whole way, you know, just being energized in the huddles and timeouts. And you could tell he really wanted this game. 12 consecutive makes at one point. You have a hand in that distributing. What was it down the stretch that enabled you guys to be so successful uh, and so efficient offensively? It was just playing our game and not getting sped up. In the first half, they sped us up a lot. And, you know, we were trying to run with them, which if you do that with them, I mean, it's just going to create a good offense for them with turnovers and stuff. So we just, you know, calmed down in the second half, and played our style, and just got the ball down low and scored and just hit open shots. Rematch with Lincoln Memorial. Nationally ranked rail splitters come to Holt Fieldhouse on Wednesday. You've won four games in a row for the first time this season. What do you take from this contest and apply Wednesday against LMU? Well, obviously you take it as momentum going into the next game. And even uh, the first time we played LMU, you know, we, we started off bad that game too. We battled in the second half, but playing them uh, this week, it's just it's got to be a redemption game. We just got to come in play hard it's at our place so we got that on our advantage so we just gotta go in and you know play hard and play our game and come out with a w zach pleasure as always congrats on the buzzer beating three thank and you. the win thank you